And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Annette Whittemore, the founder and president of the Whittemore Peterson Institute, and her daughter Andrea. Um, it's just so exciting uh, that you're going to have the grand opening here uh, for the public on August 21st, and everybody's invited uh, to attend. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, the unique relationship between the Institute and the University. Could you explain that a little further for us? Well, one of the um, exciting, most exciting pieces of this is this whole connectivity to the University and being able to exp expand our our research opportunities beyond our own institute and out into the university community and with those um, those relationships go both ways so that we think we're bringing something to the university as well uh, we've already been able to write grants together we look at it as a fabulous opportunity to bring new equipment and new expertise and then share that with the entire medical community including medical students um, one of the things that's been very important was the help of the entire congressional delegation in helping to provide funding. Your thoughts on that? I'm so thankful for Senator Reid and for all the people who were willing to help the Institute and get the funding for something so important that has been lacking um, federally. The CDC gets about $3 million a year to study this disease. It, that's just unbelievable to me when you're talking about one to four million people affected by chronic fatigue syndrome and 17 million people with neuroimmune disease. And that's just in this country, correct? Yes. yes. Uh, worldwide, the numbers are, are far greater, and this, this research will, will, will help with all of that. Well, and our federal de delegation has really stepped up and taken that lead and provided some incredible grants for us and in uh, form of equipment. We've also gotten uh, over a million dollars in a grant uh, that we wrote a couple of years ago that was funded uh, to look into this disease. So. We feel that we've already um, improved that bottom line considerably and made good use of those funds. And of course I need to say something about Governor Gwynn. We're very saddened by the loss of him and this wouldn't be possible without Governor Gwynn and Dima and all of our close friends who have worked so hard to make this an important um, part of the state of Nevada and funding. Um. I wanted to talk about um, one of the first things that you're going to be doing, which is a scientific symposium. Who's coming and what kind of things are going to be discussed? Um, well, we've got scientists coming uh, from all over the United States. Uh, experts from the National Cancer Institute will be joining us. We have physicians as well. And so this is really the first, our first symposium that with uh, truly translational medicine, where we want those researchers to come in, show their results that they've gotten from patient samples to these physicians, show them the markers we believe are important, and then have the physicians give us some feedback. What do they think, uh, you know, the tr best treatments are? And begin already, you know, there's been a small pilot trial, and we've got data, biological data from those trials that we'll be discussing. And um, we're just going to keep moving forward in that manner which is exactly the purpose of this institute. By the way, this won't work for people on the radio, but for people watching on television, I want to point out that we are actually broadcasting from the Whittemore Peterson Institute. Um, yeah, the, um, um, let's talk about drug companies. Um, are, you, are you seeing more involvement from the drug companies uh, to, to get involved with the results that you've gotten so far? Yes, we have, but I feel that my mom could discuss yeah. that much better. <laughs> so in, in answer to that, yeah, absolutely. We've had a lot of excitement. Um, uh, we've already spoken to several companies and as a matter of fact we're going to have representatives uh, from pharmaceutical companies and lab major laboratories and other businesses, diagnostic companies and so forth who are coming to take a look at the science and want to talk to us a little bit more about where they fit into this entire picture. So. It's wonderful to have that. Well, one of the things that, that has made me follow this is that I have personal experience with neuroimmune disease within my own family. Mm -hmm. And for so many years, Andrea, um, people just thought it was all in people's heads. It, it wasn't a real thing. Um, how rewarding is it for you that, that finding the truth came out? That's an emotional question, um, just because there are so many people still in other countries that do not believe in this disease and they've lost their family they've called me and said that they've lost their family support and they've lost their friend support so really this I can't tell you how big this is to go from 
this being an aspect of maybe this is psychological, maybe we need to exercise more, maybe we just need to talk about it. No, this has always been a very real physical illness and there's been 4,000 papers published in the last 25 years on the physical aspects of this disease. So the people out there who have tried to say that it's psychological have ignored the science and they cannot ignore this fact. XMRV. Well, I think that it's so exciting, uh, you know, to have traveled with you a ways on this road and to finally see going from an institute, but an institute now with a building that will do so much for the future. Uh, what are your final thoughts on, on this grand opening? Well, I just want to um, encourage everybody, if you can't come on the 21st, to uh, take a look. We'll, we'll hopefully be able to put up a, a DVD of the program that we're going to be having before that. Um, watch for the statements that come out of the uh, symposium. And I, I just want to give everybody just a, a huge thank you out there for all of your support and prayers. And also to, to let you know that uh, we're going to be sharing the answers with everyone as quickly as we can. Bricks and mortar, the Woodmore Peterson Institute. To congratulations to both of you. Thank and you to your so family. much. Thank and, uh, you. Yeah. Thank you. To your husband, Harvey, who so has been you, so Sam. instrumental. Thank you That's very much. Pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back on About a Newsmakers after this time out.